Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be performing our weak acids, weak bases, and their salts experiment. The purpose of this experiment is to determine the pH of various concentrations of acids, bases, and salts. In part one, we will measure the pH of salts, and we will use this data to determine the acid-base dissociation constants of the salts being investigated. In part two, we will measure the pH of weak acids and weak bases, and we will use the data to determine the variation of the degree of ionization of a weak acid or weak base with concentration. Let's get started. In part one of this experiment, we will be measuring the pH of salts. The first salt that we will be using is sodium chloride. The pH of our 1.0 molar sodium chloride solution is 7.58. Our next salt solution is 1.0 molar sodium acetate and it has a pH of 8.38. Our next salt solution is 1.0 molar ammonium nitrate and the pH of our ammonium nitrate solution is 5.60. Our next salt solution is 1.0 molar sodium nitrite and our sodium nitrite solution has a pH of 7.50. Our next salt solution is 1.0 molar sodium carbonate and our sodium carbonate solution has a pH of 11.38. Our next salt solution is 1.0 molar ammonium chloride and our ammonium chloride solution has a pH of 5.56. Our last salt solution is 1.0 molar ammonium acetate and our ammonium acetate solution has a pH of 6.94. You will now need to write out the chemical equations for the dissociation of each of our salts into its ions. You will also need to write out the expression for the acid ionization constant Ka or the base ionization constant Kb and calculate the value of either Ka or Kb. This concludes part one of this experiment. For part two of this experiment, we'll be measuring the pH of different concentrations of acids and bases. And the first acidic solution that we will be measuring is 1.0 molar hydrochloric acid. And our 1.0 molar hydrochloric acid has a pH of 0.43. Our next solution is 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid and the pH is 1.00. Our next solution is 0.01 molar hydrochloric acid, which has a pH of 2.00. Our next solution is 1.0 molar acetic acid, which has a pH of 2.35. Our next solution is 0.1 molar acetic acid, which has a pH of 2.84. Our next solution is 0.01 molar acetic acid, which has a pH of 3.30. Our next solution is 1 molar ammonium hydroxide, which has a pH of 11.40. Our next solution is 0.1 molar ammonium hydroxide, which has a pH of 10.81. Our last solution is 0.01 molar ammonium hydroxide, which has a pH of 10.27. You will now need to calculate the value of Ka or Kb and the degree of ionization for each of the solutions we have investigated. This concludes part two of this experiment. Okay, students, you can now use our data to determine the ionization constants of the substances we investigated in part one, and you can use our data from part two to determine the effect of concentration on degree of ionization. This concludes our weak acids, weak bases, and their salts experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.